Hey, let's see. What's today? Today is November 20th, 2023. It's almost 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's almost dark here in the East Coast. I am heading to the store to drop off some packages. So I figured I would take a second. A 15 minute drive to record what I want to record. And still, the car is going in on the 26th to get repairs from my cross country trip where I beat the heck out of it. The suspension and, and what have you. So if you hear some squeaking and squalling, I know. It's going to be fine. You're going to get through it. <laughs> so, I'm online. As, you, as I do, I'm on X, <laughs> and I have a lot of fun at X. It's really interesting because so many people are on X, and I mean, it's just like the, the it's, it's like real life, but kind of like on steroids, where there's people on X that are, they want to be so prim and proper. It's so funny, like, um, you know, you can't joke, you can't be serious, or they want to have their very perfect tweets. They only want to tweet certain times. They don't want to reply. They don't want to have fun. They want a curated timeline. Uh, you know what I mean? Or like, if you put a serious post, you can't have a funny post, and you can't put a meme, or you, you can't make rude comments, and you gotta be super, super nice and kind to everybody all the time. It's like, you guys aren't even real, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, you, you know, this is where the, uh, you know, people say be, be your authentic self. Some people's authentic self is them not being themselves. <laughs> I know that sounds a little bit strange, but, you know, some people, who they are is hiding who they are. So that's fine. But what I wanted to talk about today is just it, it and maybe I should start I was gonna wait until the first of the year. I have like uh, I like things tidy and organized. <laughs> I, I I have like numbers OCD. So I like even numbers. If I put the volume on the television, it's got to be 10, 12, 14, 16. <laughs> if I put the, if I change the heat, it's got to be 70, 68, 66. Um, so I don't know. I guess I could start releasing them randomly today on 11:20. But I would prefer to just do them at the first of the year. I guess I could do them on 12, 12, 2023. But again, if I start at the first of the year, then I'll always know exactly how far I'm going. And I want to try to do 365 videos next year, one a day for a whole year. Don't know how possible that's going to be. I'm still trying to organize it. Anyways, off track. So, recently there's been a lot of videos online of women in their car. And I'm not making fun of them for recording their car, obviously. That would be... I, can, I see the irony. I see where this is going. But they're breaking down. They're crying. They're on TikTok, I think. Uh, I'm seeing them on X, but they're on TikTok. And they're talking about how between them and their husband, they both have really good jobs. And I had no idea what people make for money. Because I, I, I'm living in a... I, I, my rent is like one twelfth of my monthly income. Sometimes, depending on how good the business does, it's like one twentieth of my twentieth, one fortieth of my monthly income. So, when I see people buying these houses, these cars, and stuff, I was like, "Wow, they must not save or invest in crypto or angel companies or anything. They just must." 
they want it all in their house or whatever. So I start hearing some of these people and they're like, oh, me and my husband have really good jobs and together we have $80,000. So I'm not picking on this. I'm just saying that I didn't understand that people make 40 grand and think that that's a really good job. So I was naive to that. So the reason I'm bringing that up is because I buckled down and was like, I'm not going to even consider slowing down until I'm making over six figures. And once I blew by that, I was like, okay, I kind of get it. Now I can relax. I can have fun. And so I didn't realize, because no one wants to talk about it. And then if you bring up what you make for income, everybody gets butt hurt. So it's like, so you just got to keep it to yourself. I like to talk finances. Me and my close friends all talk how much money we're bringing in and the strategies that we need, that we do and what we have for savings and where our investments are going and stuff like that. Um, but strangers do not like to talk about that. I like to talk about it. That's how I got to where I'm at because I found out people that were making more money than me, figured out, asked them how much they were making and asked them how they did it principle wise strategy wise not like oh I own a construction business I own a online business or whatever so anyways so this is important because I was trying to figure out you know how how bad people are hurting so I had gone the other day I got up I went out I went to the dentist they're like we need your card I'm like yeah they're like you need a receipt I'm like no then I went and I got some groceries and not even my full grocery shop for the week, just uh, some extras, uh, some fresh produce, scanned in stuff. And that was on um, Thursday, I think. And then Sunday I do my finances every week and I do my investments and, and move stuff around. And I went and I was like, oh, the dentist was 350 and the groceries were like 150. I barely even got anything of the dentist when way up but as a go you know all right it, it is what it is and then I thought oh wow like so what does somebody do if they make 40k and this is going somewhere they make 40k a year and they just had to spend 150 on partial groceries and 350 on the dentist and then I started dwelling, I started thinking about this and I did feel like a little bit bad, but then also it's like people make decisions. So I've been hearing nothing for the past, what is it, five, six, maybe a decade now, that women are crushing it, women are the best, women are on top, women are graduated in high school, women run the colleges, women are graduating top of their class in colleges, men are falling behind. And so I just sat there, and, you know, I talk to other men, and it's like, you're not going to bring, you know, logic, reason, and evidence to these women that are making these emotional statements of, like, superiority. So there's no reason to bring it up. And then when you do bring it up, you just get absolutely attacked online. So it's like, okay, well, you know, okay, you're on top. But the men that I'm speaking to are like, well, no, I'm not sending my kids to college to get $100,000 in debt. That doesn't put you on top. So I don't care if you're graduating 60% from college. It means when I hear that, I'm like, you were just all sold. Women at a rate of 60 plus percent were sold student debt, right? So men at 40% or less are being sold student debt. And as far as student debt, and I don't know what the the percentages of people that go to college versus don't but of the people that do get sold colleges it's 60 percent more women are tricked into getting a huge student debt that they can't ever pay off and now i'm seeing these women cry about how oh i took out you know i had a seventy-five thousand or seventy-eight thousand dollars in debt and i paid 105 and i'm only down to 75 i have all this interest and just preferred interest and they're crying and it's like they're like, how am I supposed to do this? I was told, and it's like, you, 
you made your decisions, right? You were supposedly an adult. We were told not to intervene, that women were boss queens, and that they knew everything. And, and this is just a repeating cycle with everything. So now the economy is getting bad. And if you look at the number one voting block, it's single females. And the single females like crazy vote for democratic policies, which is more spending and quantitative easing, and spending of resources. And you can say, well, they didn't vote for these two wars and all this stuff. And it's like, it doesn't matter. They're voting for stuff and they're cheering these people that are warmongers over and over again. And they don't want to shrink the government. They want more programs. And just hear me out, though, because I'm going to blame men in the end here. Okay? So over and over again, we keep seeing these issues. And the problem is that it, it, it's, it, you know, and, I, and I'm doing it right here. I'm not being the problem. I'm going to tell you right now is women, for the most part, are not logical creatures. They're not making decisions based on reason, evidence, understanding math, science. They're doing it on social pressures and emotions. And that's not necessarily a bad thing but it has bad results and the reason that men are to blame is because for the most part men are rational logical and mathematical and you can't step out of the way you can't let children continue to run in the in, in, in the streets and the highway and then say well they're dumb they're dumb kids so you can't continue to give women these difficult choices to make that they can't make it's clear that they can't make them and then expect different results and of course I'm gonna get a lot of feedback I'm, I'm yeah I get it because you are acting you're gonna have an emotional response to this I expect you to have an emotional response to this okay YouTube's probably gonna rank it as um, as hate speech or I'm going to run AI through this and it's going to tell me to censor it as viewer discretion advised because of the, the stuff because I'm telling this to women. And the reason why is all the corporations and all the governments and all the people that are trying to collect money and sell you shit know that you're childlike in your wants and needs and that you're going to continue to get yourself deeper and deeper in the hole and they're fleecing you for money. So when somebody like myself speaks up to try to say, hey, find a man or somebody that has reason, logic, and evidence behind them, either marry a man or ask your brothers or ask your fathers for advice, and I'm trying to help you out, <laughs> okay? You make bad decisions. The writing's on the wall. Look at the divorce rates. Look at the amount of chemicals that you have to put in your body whether it's birth control uh, pharmaceuticals depression medicine whatever it may be you're constantly making bad decisions you're spending all sorts of money and you keep blaming other people so if you're blaming other people then maybe you need to start asking those other people what the choices are because you want them to take the responsibility you you t women on the collective are telling us time and time again to not hold them accountable for their actions and so we need to stop holding them accountable for their actions I'm not saying let them get away from things I'm saying take charge of them and make choices decisions for them that are in their best interest because they cannot do it on their own I know People are going to be like, well, and it's like, yeah, well, you can do it in a voluntary manner, okay? So it doesn't have to be uh, force, but if you have a female that's being raised, you know, she turns into a girl, she's going to have chemicals in her body, and she needs somebody to teach her her own, teach her her body in the way that the chemicals release in her body so that she can become a woman. 
And then when she does that, she's going to realize, okay, I have these chemicals that make me do A, B, and C. And so when A, B, or C happens, I need to go to my husband, my brother, or my father because I'm no good at, I'm no good at them. And they're misunderstanding who they are, and they don't understand who they are. Uh, and it's a failure of fathers, and it's a failure of husbands, and it's a failure of brothers, because women obviously lack the, the ability to be full of reason and logic and evidence. So you can't expect them to be in charge of themselves. <laughs> I know this sounds terrible, but I'm not saying they got other qualities that are great, but being being in charge of themselves is not one of them. And I'm not suggesting that they go into slavery, but I'm suggesting that they go into voluntary arrangements. You wouldn't let a kid cook dinner until they have enough responsibility and understanding to do it. And you certainly shouldn't allow women to vote. You shouldn't allow anybody, but specifically women to vote try to be in science try to be in technology try to be in engineering try and be in mathematics um, until that stewardship is passed and handed to them and it just it, it, it serves the interest of others that are fleecing them for their fertility fleecing them for their money fleecing them for their time and fleecing their life they're just taking everything from uh, these women until they're absolutely destroyed on every level and it's sad and it's hard to watch it is at this point so there really is another in Susha. I mean we can just sit here I mean we can sit back and see if the evolution ever catches back up but we we've never had a de-evolution so women have been evolving in this particular direction for hundreds of thousands of years and throughout the animal kingdom, if we go back even further, it's millions of years. So the fact that people think that you can reverse millions of years of evolution in a couple of years of social pressure, uh, you can't un unevolve in that direction. They evolve with these particular skill sets and men involved with other particular skill sets. And I know there'll be emotional reaction to this, but because because there's no you know you know what I mean like it's just it's the catch 22 of making this video it's not for it's not going to help women women are going to have an emotional reaction to this and be like I am the one logical woman in the entire world sure I do have a hundred million a hundred thousand dollars in school debt and can't afford my bills and I cry and all this stuff but I'm 100% in charge and it's all men's fault and it's like yeah, it is man's fault. We should have never given you that responsibility and we should have never let other men fleece you. You know what I mean? Like women keep getting sexually assaulted. They keep getting in car accidents. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't let them drive. They keep going out half naked. You can't reprimand them. At some point, and like I said, it's got to be a voluntary shift to society. If not, I mean, everybody can crash and burn. That's where it's headed right now. You can see that that's where it's headed right now. The writings on the wall I mean just from an emotional standpoint women you're not better off emotionally you know this from a couple years ago but I also know that you're not going to because you're gonna make uh, a emotional reaction to this I know you're not going to admit that you're getting emotionally worse and worse but as men we can see the writing on the wall scientifically women are taking more pharmaceutical drugs they have mental health issues at a much higher level. They're in therapy at a much higher level. Uh, they, they're, uh, whatchamacallit, for the first time in human history, on the happiness index, women's happiness is going down on the index. So uh, if you want it to continue in that way, fine. Keep being emotionally stubborn. I don't really give a fuck. I'm going to be fine, <laughs> you know. But uh, just think about this. If you're a father with some daughters talk to your wife about it and uh, maybe make better decisions for them and worry about them a little bit more than their male counterparts so I don't know if I'll ever post this I don't think I can